Alright, and this is going to be a new vector 3, 0 0.1 f. Alright, and then we're going to need a vector 3, and this is going to be the rise. And this is going to equal our from position minus our center. And then we're going to need our setting. This is 2 minus center. Alright. And now we need to find the fraction that we've completed so far. And this is where the time comes in. And we need to take our current time minus our start time over our swap rate, which we can make this a public variable. And I'm just going to set this to 2 for now. swap rate. So this will find the fraction that we've completed along uh, from along our journey that take this amount of time to complete. And then we need to get the gem to move dot transform dot position and this is going to equal our vector 3 dot slurp between our rise and our setting. over the fraction completes. And then we want to add back to this our center. Alright, and so we can copy all of this and paste it in here. And the only thing that we really need to change is to put a negative there, because this one's going to be moving in the other direction. We, we could have done it in the same function, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. Alright, so we can close those, and in here, we want to move gem, gem 1, uh, gem 1, start, right, gem 1, end, gem 1, start, Gem two, two and gem two start. All right, so these will move our gems. This will set up our gem information, and now we need to know when to finish our swapping. So, if yeah, if uh, the vector three dot distance between our position for one gem dot position and another gem or yeah so if our gem has gone a certain distance or the distance between our gem and our destination isn't uh, that big then we're just going to end it and say that we made it to the position Um, if this is less than 0.1 f, and then we're going to do the same thing with the other gem. So if one of the gems gets close enough, we're going to say both are close enough since they're moving at the same rate. So if this is true, then we want to make them go to their position. Dot transform dot position. Gem two dot transform dot position equals gem. And we can say a swapping is false. So 
this should swap them. Let's see what happens. All right, not perfect, <laughs> but it is it is moving them some so something's going right. 